Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day today. I just wanted to make a video, share some recent pickups. I uh, had a few things that I've ordered from people out there in the silver community, some stuff that I picked up off eBay. I did have a trip to my local coin shop, found some neat stuff in the generic bin. Also added a few pieces to my coin collection. I'll be giving you guys a look at all that today. Um, just thought it was a good, nice, rainy day to make a video. And uh, I did have a, a few things that I wanted to share. There's a little over 50 ounces here that'll be going into my stack my and my collections. Um, you know, as far as my regular weight goes, I don't, I don't really share a lot of that with you guys because it's, you know, nowadays I, it's mostly just shot that I pour up for myself and I toss back in my stack. But I do continue to stop at the coin shops, always looking for pieces that have premiums built into them. You know, I, I try to get you guys to look for the same type of stuff. And maybe you do, maybe that's what you're into as well. Um, try to pass along the knowledge, try to help you guys out if you're newer, um, what to be looking for when you're going out there in the coin shops. And then uh, also just, you know, I have fun purchases. You know, and I've shared that with you guys before. You know, there's people out there making cool stuff. Um, you know, Mutiny Metals up here, I'll show you in just a second stuff to my collection. But um, let's go ahead and stop yapping and just showed you. Uh, my last video, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And, and uh, please don't pay attention to my dirty fingernails, guys. I was out in the shop today. I've been pouring a lot of bullion lately. Um, a lot of demand for that uh, recently. Um, and new people as well for me. But these are cool uh, Viking pieces. These come from Haleybug. Ordered these off of his website. I shared some actually last time in my last video. I liked them so much I actually ordered a few more. Um, these pressed one ounce bars. Uh, really cool. All the, Everybody's got, uh, it's doing pressed bars nowadays. Um, just all sorts of different neat dyes that people have. And uh, it's pretty neat. And speaking of the press stuff, here I have a couple pieces. This is from FFC Texas, guys. If you're not familiar with him, he's on Instagram. And he, obviously, down in Texas, and he makes his own dyes. So he's got uh, he's got a machine there in his garage and makes up his own dyes. And then he goes ahead and stamps up these pressed silver pieces. And I grabbed a couple one-ounce uh, new designs that he has. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm a sucker for those vintage eagles. So, and then, you know, just supporting, just supporting uh, what he's doing. Um, I like that he makes his own stuff, and, uh, you know, he supported me in the past, too. So it's all about supporting one another sometimes, and we just have fun with it. And it's, it's, if people are making cool stuff like this, I'll, I'll buy it for sure. Here you can see a cool Indian skull. Got the tomahawks there. Whoops, dropping it. Same design here on the back. FFC Texas, one ounce, 999, fine silver. Um, cool little, uh, little bit of a picture there of a skull on the back. Some, some cool pieces from him. I did have uh, some stuff from him, not a whole lot, but I had wanted to add a little bit more to my collection. And then uh, I brought up Mutiny Metals earlier. You guys know I definitely collect Mutiny Metals. This is a double-sided one ounce pressed piece as well. And this is version two of his Plata Plomo, meaning silver or lead. Um, Take the silver or get the lead, basically. And this is the version two. And the version one um, is very collectible. Well, this one was very collectible, too. It was only uh, available for one day. So I ended up ordering a few of them. And the version ones, I, I've seen those go for hundreds of dollars on eBay already. And they're not even that old. He definitely has a collector following Mutiny Metals. And, of course, I'm one of them. You know, I've shared a lot with you guys as far as Mutiny Metals goes. I did pick up another bar here from Reckless Metals. Um, here, the glare on it's not really doing the bar justice, but again, like I just stated, I am a sucker for that vintage eagle type. This is a new five ounce, newer five ounce style that he's doing there. Um, just thought it was cool. I like the eagle, liked five ounce bar size, nice uh, five ounce cast iron bar there. A big old stamp just kind of flattens it, but uh, see number 92 there. Just thought it was cool. I added a, another five ounce piece from him to the stack. Let's see what else we got going on. Um, and you probably, if you follow Silver Bean Counter too, you've probably seen these recently. He showed some of these off. This is Eric the Blood Axe. This is a new release from Pinehurst Coins. It is called the Legendary Warriors series. And these are one ounce silver rounds. 
let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit better. They have uh, a lot of weapons, as you can see here on the back. Just a very cool looking piece. I really uh, dug this design. Plus, it's the first in the series. I went ahead and grabbed 20 of them. Um, I'll probably take a couple of these and antique them up myself. And I'll share those with you guys. If, if I end up antiquing some of these, I'll share them with you. Um, I really like the pieces like this that have a lot of, lot of detail. And I'm real curious to see what that would look like or what I could do um, trying to antique that. Might go ahead and give that a go one of these days. I get a minute. And then uh, after that, I did stop at my coin shop. And I always tell you guys to stop at the coin shop, try to find pieces that already have premiums built in from their you know generic prices and their generic bin. Um, and I know some of you guys have coin shops out there with a generic bin. Some of you don't, but I always look for poured old bars that I collect and uh, art bars. And they had a couple art bars in today, not too many, but here you have an EPM, which stands for Eastern Precious Metals, one ounce pressed, 999, obviously, uh, fine silver bar. So I went ahead and added that to my collection. This next one isn't too terribly rare, but a very fun one as well. Um, the Washington Mint, they have quite a few one ounce art bars with this same design there, and but this side having different designs. So obviously this uh, large head Indian, and they have, uh, they got like the Walking Liberty. I forget how many different variations are in this Washington Mint set, but there are quite a few. Uh, but nowadays when I don't see the art bars very often, when I see them, and they're the generic prices, I continue to pick these up. And I think I always will. You know, this is one of the things that I definitely love about stacking are those old art bars. Doesn't mean I won't buy newer bars. Here is a newer, last version, but newer Geiger bar. And this was in their generic bin as well. As you can see here on the mint seal, nice clean Geiger bar, um, basically with no, no real premium on it. I will go ahead and scoop that. Um, that's a good pickup, in my opinion, to add to the stack. So I went ahead and grabbed that Geiger bar. And, um, you know, I've told you guys, I do not buy too many silver bars that are generic because I tend to like to make my own. However, I do make an exception for Scottsdale, Scottsdale silver. Um, Scottsdale silver, I said it before and I'll say it again. You know, it's kind of, in my opinion, the modern day angle hard as far as collectability in the future goes. You know, that's just my opinion. We'll have to see how it goes in the future. But they make all sorts of cool different bars. And uh, if I get them without having to pay up, like if you go on eBay, uh, places like that, or even directly from Scottsdale, they have a really high premium. You know, this one's a little bit different. This isn't your standard pressed or poured or cast bar, right? So, you know, I can see them asking a little bit more premium. But I don't tend to buy too many modern generic, unless it's Scottsdale. I do have a collection. I do enjoy it. And again, I feel like, you know, down the road, and this is just my opinion, but down the road, you know, the Scottsdale stuff will bring a little bit of a premium. And I just enjoy picking it up. And, and this is just a cool, nice, um, it's just a nice, cool little tombstone bar, man. It's a nugget bar. They make this in a five ounce, a 10 ounce, and a kilo size. And they've been around for a while. They've been producing them for a while. Um, I don't know how many they've made. I'm sure thousands of them, but uh, but they are cool. Nonetheless, they had them there and they come in a little, they come in a little sack like this with a, with a card that comes with it. Um, not that that really matters or anything, but if you have those, you can, they, that's what they do come with. That's do, that's how they do come. So they're pretty cool. And uh, last but not least, I did have a few things that I added to my coin collection. So let's see if I can get the glare off these and actually share them with you. Here we have an 1897. And of course, this is a small dime here. Barber dime, 1897 barber dime. And of course, the Toning's not coming off on camera and, and it is in a kind of a shiny package and I apologize for that. I don't really want to uh, grab it out and finger it up too much. Some of these will, I don't know about this piece, but my, my coins, I don't like to, to, I don't have a glove out is what I'm getting at guys. And this one has beautiful gold, blue and purple toning around the outside. Really nice looking dime, nice clean looking dime. Um, when I collect coins, I definitely enjoy collecting coins. I'm more of a stacker than a coin collector, but uh, you know, I pick up coins that have really good eye appeal, in my opinion, to me, you know, things that I like to look at. 
Not all the coins that I pick up are going to be, you know, the highest grade or the, the most key date. Now, you know, I'm, I'm more of a novice when it comes to coin collecting. I don't have all the key dates memorized or the variations or things like that. But if I love old coins, love old silver coins, and uh, if I find them in um, a nice price below retail, I don't overpay for coins at all, but if I can find them below retail at a nice price um, that have good eye appeal, that's what I collect. Um, short and simple, that's what I like to collect for, for coins. So here we have um, an 1861S, seated liber seated Liberty half. Um, just in my opinion, had some pretty cool eye appeal to me. It's not coming off the greatest again out of these shiny flips, but uh, just a cool half and uh, got a really nice deal on it. So I went ahead and scooped that and uh, saved the best one here for last. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can get that toning. It's got what my favorite toning is, is the bullseye toning, where you have that nice dark ring around the outside, nice light in the center. Um, just gives it a very, very nice eye appeal. Just gorgeous look. Um, in hand, this is even more beautiful than on camera. And it does continue. Um, this is an 1834 large date, large uh, letter. Uh, bust half dollar if you're not familiar with these and uh, same thing on the back just absolutely gorgeous bullseye toning really really like this piece um, this one really caught my eye but I'm starting to put some coins uh, off to the side that I'll be sending either to PCGS or NGC and I'll I'll definitely be making a before and after video for you guys when I do that um, it'll be my first coin grading submission uh, personally that I'll be sending off myself. So I'll definitely be wanting to share that with you guys. So that was my recent pickups this week that I wanted to share with you all. Let me know what you guys have been doing out there. Have you been waiting? Um, have you Obviously, you've noticed the spot go down today. Um, spot prices rate down around 22. Premiums have been coming down. Um, for me personally, it's not time to back up the truck or anything like that, but I'll definitely continue to keep pur purchasing consistently. Like I always uh, say that I do, I always out there looking for deals, nice collectible stuff, fun pieces. Um, you know, I have a lot of fun with this hobby, guys. I call it a hobby. It's not just a savings or an investment or whatever. Um, you know, I pour, I do a lot with metals. You know, it takes up a lot of my time and I enjoy it. I enjoy learning about the old coins. Um, I have, uh, you know, I've got a lot of knowledge when it comes to poured silver over the years, the old stuff, the new stuff. You know, I spend a lot of time learning and uh, I really do enjoy it. And it definitely helps when I'm out there um, finding stuff like this, kind of know what to grab, what not to grab. You just learn that stuff over time, guys. And, and the more you go into the coin shops, the more you look up online, the more you see how things sell in the secondary market, all those different types of things. If you're into that, if you're into that, or if you're just into buying more just generic stuff like this by the tube and setting it back, that's cool too. But uh, I think if you didn't have, you know, if you didn't have a little bit of interest in the older stuff or the newer stuff or the collectible stuff, you probably wouldn't watch my channel. So, you know, you probably like a lot of the same things that I do. But let me know what you guys think of my recent pickups down below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for stopping by. I really do. I love the conversations down below. Um, but please uh, give me some comments and uh, we'll see you soon on the next one.